Tuesday. Welcome to the Zendesk Morning Show and today's topic of making data serve your CX strategy. In every industry, companies are amassing more data than ever. Retailers micro-inspect our purchasing history, airlines measure why flights are on time, and just about every organization with a support center tracks every call, email, and interaction that comes in. The benefit of all this data? So companies can figure out how to better solve customer needs and improve their services and operations. According to a survey from Deloitte's, the analytics advantage, 49% of respondents said that analytics helps them make better decisions. 16% said that it better enabled them to decide on strategic initiatives. And 10% said that it helped them improve relationships with customers and business partners. We have a very informative field session today with three customer interviews and our CMO and my manager, Jeff Titterton, sharing how data has really changed for marketers and how marketing teams at Zendesk have been using our own Zendesk Explore product. So let's kick off the show by hearing how data can bring value to your organization and welcome Jeff to the show. Thanks for having me, Perlini. And hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here to talk about Zendesk Explore which empowers businesses to use analytics to measure and improve the customer experience. I'm gonna actually talk to you about how we and my marketing team use Zendesk Explore. Little known fact is that before we rolled out Zendesk Explore last June for our customers, we were actually, as we built it, using Zendesk Explore custom versions of it to run my marketing team. We've been using it for several years and we continue to use it today. It is a great product, and I'm gonna to talk to you about what I love about it. So three big things I love about Zendesk Explore as I run Zendesk Marketing Organization. First is the pre-built dashboards. I have a variety of dashboards that I am able to easily log into every morning over my cup of coffee to understand how business performance has changed from the prior day. This is great. I'm able to send messages off to my team saying, what's going on here, what's going on there. Second. Customization, and this one is really critical to me, particularly during this COVID period that we're in where the business is changing so dramatically and so quickly. So we are able to customize our reporting rapidly in near real time, frankly. I compare that to how things used to be at other companies I worked at before this, where we had inflexible systems and I would have to submit a ticket and I would wait for weeks or months to get a change to our reporting. Now I can actually send someone a Slack message or an email and within hours usually or days at the latest, I am actually getting changes to my reporting that help me evolve how we're thinking and what we're doing. The third thing that I really like is the shareability, the easy share that you can do with these reports. It's very easy to share. We are continuously sharing these reports with our management as well as with our peer teams around us so that they can look at how things are changing in the marketing world and see how that might be impacting their business. So how does this apply to Zendesk Explore, the CX product that we offer? Well, it's really the same benefit. So right out of the box, Zendesk Explore comes with pre-built dashboards that really are tailor-made for CX teams. So you can analyze things like peak times. You can analyze things like channel usage, right? And channel shift. And these things are changing rapidly in this current crisis that we're all in. We can see across our customers, for example, that chat has really exploded as a use case because a lot of customers have moved quickly online and need help. Same thing, we're seeing a lot of use of, of guide, right? So self-serve, we're seeing a lot of people coming online and needing to self-serve because of all the change happening very quickly. The second thing that's great for CX teams about Explore is that customization. So thousands of customizations that are easily available to your teams to make changes. And one great thing about this is you don't need a bunch of developers and you don't need to have a bunch of data scientists back there to make these changes. We have people on my team who are not very technical, who are continuously evolving their reports, doing those customizations that I or other leaders request and they don't need to spend a ton of time doing it. The third thing is that shareability. And we're in this phase right now where businesses are not making decisions long-term. They're not saying, oh, what am I gonna be doing in a year or two years? They're saying, what are we gonna be doing next week? What are we gonna be doing next month? What are we gonna be doing next quarter? 
And that shareability and that ease of getting that reporting out there to help make those decisions is a really powerful thing during this crisis. All right, that's all I have for today. I know we're all going through a hard time right now, the entire world, and Zendesk wants to be here to help. So if you need us, we are here for you. And please reach out. We would love to hear from you. Back to you, Perlini. Thanks, Jeff, and thanks for joining us today. Every company uses data differently to inform and support decisions. Let's go across to Sweden and hear from North Mill on how they are using data-driven decisions to support their growth strategy and better serve their customer base. Simon Nielsen, Chief Customer Officer, will be interviewed by our Customer Success Leader for the region, Martin Newmans. Welcome, Simon, and welcome, Martin. Thanks, Perlini. I'm Martin Newmans. I run Customer Successor at Zendesk. Uh, for Benelux Emerging Markets and Nordics. Today I will be speaking to North Mill, and North Mill is a Swedish technology bank that develops financial services for customers using our Zendesk products. Their mission is very encouraging, a better financial life for all of us. North Mill build a bank for everyone and provides the tools for people to make better financial decisions and choices. Joining us is Simon Nielsen, Chief Customer Officer at North Mill, who will give more information about how North Mill has transformed their business by making data-driven decisions. Welcome, Simon. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's great that you're taking the time for us. So my first question is, when we think about data, is how do you use data as part of an omni-channel strategy? Well, as a cloud-only technology bank, it's very natural for us to have a very clear data-driven approach across all functions of our business. We use data in many ways. Uh, it could be that we analyze the customer behavior data to make direct improvements in our products or our customer service for that matter. Uh, to give you one example, uh, just recently we, we received some feedback from our customers that the offer of, on one of our key products could be somewhat confusing to fully grasp. Uh, we identified that it was a user experience challenge, uh, put a task to our design and product team, and within a couple of days, the, the updated version uh, was available for, for our customers, uh, all based really on the feedback we received uh, and could organize uh, via the Sendus platform. We are active on a very competitive international challenger bank playing field, so just having access to data is not what sets you apart today. Uh, it's how well and, and fast you can analyze it that makes a difference. A great uh, thing with Zendesk Explorer is that we can make smart findings directly in the tool. Um, it's very fast, very simple, and then we just make the adjustments that directly affects the customer experience. Wonderful. And um, so what has the impact been of data-driven decisions making? And not just for your customers, but also for your employees. Well, we, we are actually looking beyond just being data driven. Uh, in my opinion, many companies end up solely focusing on being data driven, which easily becomes all about efficiency and, and cutting costs, uh, less about people and their needs. Uh, people who want to find answers themselves can do so uh, via the self service uh, articles. Uh, and for those who feel more comfortable speaking to someone over the phone or, or chat uh, can just as easily do so. And that is very important to me that to be able to meet the customers on their terms. Um, and with Sendesk, our employees have, have got a very streamlined process, a clear 360 view of the customer's engagement and everything in one single platform that helps them solve the, the customer inquiries fast and easy without any hassle. Uh, and that is both good customer experience and good, good from an employee experience perspective. And these two aspects really belong together. So by investing in our employees, we are investing in our customer experience as well. And then one last question is, how does data influence your business growth strategy? Uh, having the right tools to get a clear understanding of what customer ask for, establish long-term relationships uh, that naturally leads to, to customer loyalty. And this is really key to be able to grow and then expand in a sustainable and competitive way. Uh, for us, scalability is business critical. 
by using automation, the right tools, and being organized as a product organization, uh, we can see that we reach uh, a very high level of efficiency across functions and areas, uh, which lays the foundation really that allows us to expand rapidly uh, with maintained level of customer focus. Um, this tight connection between the customers and our product development is partly thanks to Sendus Explorer and becomes crucial when it comes to expanding into new markets uh, or launching new products. Thank you so much, Simon, for telling us a little more about North Mill and how they've established themselves as key figure in making data-driven decisions. Now back over to you, Perlini. Thanks, Martine and Simon. We are now going to go across to France and hear from HiPay on how they were able to clear the backlog of tickets of key accounts by using data and Zendesk Explore. Welcome to today's show, Han Abella, Head of Business Operations from HiPay, and Celine Faber, Customer Marketing for the region, to have a discussion. Thank you, Prilini, and good morning, everyone. I'm here today with Juan Abella, Head of Business Operations at HiPay. Welcome, Juan, and thank you for joining us today. Hi, everybody. HiPay is a French payment service provider with solutions for all payment issues experienced by e-commerce retailers and operating not only in France, but also in Belgium, Italy, Portugal, and in the US. We know business has changed and most likely a new way will emerge in the future. How did you manage to maintain continuity of service during this time? Yes, we mostly had a great impact on the two first weeks after the lockdown, when the e-commerce was slowing down, waiting for visibility, and customers as well. Uh, but after two weeks, we've seen again a surge, and since then, it's back to normal. Um, on the other hand, we were also well prepared to deal with this such situation. high pay support teams were used to work from home sometimes, for on-call teams, for instance. So all the VPNs, KPIs, and tools were ready when the lockdown began. We just had to be used to doing it constantly and to adjust the meetings following our business continuity plan. Well, I'm very happy to hear the positive feedback for your company. Um, I also know that you are an Explore user and that you have a very data-driven approach. Can you tell us how important is the data in your customer service strategy? Yes, sure. Uh, all data related to the customer and his exchanges with HiPay are very important for us. We track the customer satisfaction, the first and next replies, the full resolution time, and of course the request or wait time. Thanks to Explore, we have access to valuable KPIs to link this to the SLAs to get more precise data. We also keep a close watch on our help center KPIs and the answer both results, like the resolution rate, the click-through rate, and the activity by article, so we can improve the quality of the content. Uh, Explorer helps us to monitor also the agent's day-to-day -day performance and we can share these dashboards with the senior management every month so it's become part of the company strategy. That's really great to hear. So how do you leverage all this data and those dashboards to improve customer experience? All the reports concerning the KPIs we are tracking are created automatically for each agent on Explorer today so they can see in real time their efficiency and if they respect the SLAs agreed with the customers. Uh, the real-time report provided by Explore enabled us to clear almost 100% of the backlog tickets on major accounts by limiting the response time on tickets before it was too late. Uh, having the right data and dashboards allows my team to be more proactive than reactive and empower agents to prioritize tickets to improve the customer satisfaction. This is really great. So now just to conclude, I would love to hear what you have to share in terms of advice for other companies regarding how to make the most of data. Yeah, sure. Explore will give you a lot of data and it's very easy to use it with all the pre-built dashboards and reports. But if you want to make the most of it, you have to select precisely the data that will matter the most of your company. Uh, start by asking yourself, what KPIs do I need today? And do I know how to read them? Uh, and be ready to prioritize and start just with a few and not with all KPIs at the same time. And then you can really explore and have fun. Thank you so much for sharing your experience with us, Juan. Thank you, bye. Bye, and, and with that, I hand back to you, Perlini. Thank you, Han and Celine. To round off today's episode on data, 
Let's hear from HouseKeep on the great platform they have that allows customers to book house cleaning services from their homes and how Zendesk and Insights is fundamental in their process. Welcome Tom Kirby, Head of Customer Service, and our PR guru and regular show guest, Erica Foltis, to discuss HouseKeep services. Thanks, Perlini. I'm joined today by Tom Kirby, Head of Customer Service at HouseKeep, which is a market-leading online home cleaning service connecting experienced home cleaners with London residents. Tom, I'm particularly excited to be talking to you today, not just because of the great work you're doing, but because I'm a loyal and happy customer of HouseKeep myself. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, excited to be, be a part of it. Well, first off, Tom, you brought Zendesk into HouseKeep when you joined the company. Can you tell us a bit about your goals behind that project? When I joined the, com uh, joined the company uh, after, uh, after, after the interview, uh, to have uh, basically Zendesk was, was, the vanilla Zendesk was installed and ready to go. And they're like, there you go, work your magic. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a tool that I've used over the years and, and being able to uh, add the different elements of it, really customize it to, to how you want uh, through triggers and different views and being able to separate, separate out our, our two customer bases in our, our customers and our housekeepers was really beneficial. And then when you did that, that implementation, you did some really interesting things to kind of look into the responses that you were getting from, from your customers within the platform. How did you start to collect the data within, within that? So having a uh, specific but also grouped contact reasons and having that as a ticket field, uh, also understanding who was at fault and, and how we resolved the issue, uh, gave us free data points that we could then cross-reference across all the different contacts we were getting in. Uh, and being able to mimic those across the different channels as well, so we can compare live chat, compare telephone, compare uh, uh, support emails. Uh, that was hugely beneficial and being able to to un really get a grip of what our customers wanted, what they were trying to feed back to us, their pain points, on both the housekeepers and customer sides, very, very different. So you talked a little bit about some of the great insights that you got from, um, from going into that analysis. Can you dig a little bit more into some of the top key insights and, and that you found and how those changed maybe some of your, your activities? I suppose a big part of it was the understanding that um, housekeepers and customers, uh, a lot of the time we were just moving information from one party to the other without adding a whole lot of value. And as a customer service manager, manager looking for efficiency, looking to you know, grow a business three times, but only grow a customer service team 1.5 times, uh, you, you need to look for those efficiencies and, and really make sure that your team are only contributing where they're actually adding value. So understanding that a lot of the communications we were just passing information across uh, meant that we could go, okay, well, these are the sort of things that we can connect communication directly from customer to housekeeper uh, and customer, sorry, housekeeper back to customers. Um, so uh, it actually led to us going, okay, well, let's build a chat function. Uh, we have our live chat for our customers and housekeepers to speak to our support team, but we could put something in that they can uh, speak to each other in certain uh, kind of monitored and controlled ways. We don't want to free, free roam upon uh, conversation and lose data that way but um, but being able to have certain communications go through uh, such as when housekeepers are stuck outside really we you know phone calls got missed a lot so which is again the information we got from Zendesk. So thank you again for joining us Tom and, and as a customer myself let me also say that I love that you've given homeowners the option to skip their cleans while still pay paying their cleaners during this period. It's it's such a great initiative and a brilliant example of how you continue to pivot and innovate in your business. Now back over to you Perlini. According to IDC, project spending for data and analytics will reach 274 billion by 2022. As an organization, you no longer have to be of large scale or with big budgets to undertake and implement data and analytics projects into your organization. Data and tools today are affordable and accessible to organizations of all sizes. And as Jeff shared, you don't need to be technical either. That's why Zendis Explore has been made simple and easy to use. You can learn more about Explore or any of our stories shared today on the Zendis Morning Show homepage section or get in touch, we are here to help you. Thank you for joining us as always. Join us on Thursday as we dive into the world of gaming. Keep smiling, keep healthy, 
Enjoy the small freedoms bestowed on us as our countries slowly start to open up. Look forward to you joining us on Thursday.